So the, the part about the prayer, subhanAllah, you know, how do we know that it, it's being accepted? The thing is, we, 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 really, there's, we really don't, we have no uh, guarantees of anything. But we're guaranteed that Allah's promise is real. And when Allah makes a promise, He does not betray His promise. When He tells you, if you do these things, I will become your eyes and I will become your ears, it means He is accepting, subhanAllah. When He tells us what prayer does for us, it means that it is a truth. And the most incredible thing, you know, you know the first thing that the devil does? The first thing that the devil does is he makes you feel silly when you pray. You know, when you, when you do your sujood or you do your rukuah, and it makes you feel silly, like, well, what are you doing? You know, why do you have to do this? And, and then he'll say, you know, how do you even know it's counting? You know, I mean, you're putting yourself through this, and you don't even know if it counts. Five times a day, you're leaving your life for just a few minutes, but, but still, you know, it's not worth it. That's the devil speaking to us. You know, that's... That's not the voice of the divine, subhanAllah, and it's not our knowledge of the Prophet. So part of being a mu'min and part of being on this journey, a believer, is that you must believe in the most beautiful words of the Qur'an and you must believe in the most beautiful attributes of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and you must believe in the mercy of the Prophet alayhi salatu wasalam. And that belief, Rabbana says, Ana and the husn on the abdi bi, which basically means I am at the... Um, I, I am what the worshiper believes me to be. I am what my servant believes me to be. If you believe him to be merciful, that's what you will get. So do your salah, tawakkal ala Allah. Don't ever, ever let the, the shaitan or the devil convince you of anything other than everything you do that is good is being accepted. Absolutely everything. And your salah is, is the relationship. So it is where he will enter with his greatest intensity. And that's how this ummah was ruined. And that's why I really, really push this, this concept of prayer. I mean, as I said, I enter communities and I say, oh my goodness, if this community, if we can get people to wake up for fajr with each other, this world would be very different for Muslims. And it's the scariest thing for people to see people able to do this. And it's the most beautiful thing. So establish your prayers. And, and, and don't worry, let, let the, the reward be with God. <laughs>